author and illustrator of Benjamin and Bumper to the Rescue. And here's my daughter Franny. Hi! These are the heroes of my story. Benjamin, Middle Mouse, and his good friend Bumper the Elephant. I made ben Benjamin and Bumper from scratch using a variety of needle felting and sewing techniques. But for today's crafting project, I've simplified the process so that everyone can make a mouse hero of their own at home. Like these. So let's start. The first thing you'll need is a baby sock. Maybe you can find one of these at Goodwill or from a friend, or maybe even have a baby in your household. But if you want to get a lot of baby socks, we got ours online at Dharma Trading Company. The first step is you'll want to take your sock and turn it inside out to sew the two seams on the toe together into a point so that you can make a mousy nose like this. Once you have a pointy nose on your mouse, Turn it right side out and stuff it. We use polyester fiber fill for our stuffing, but you can really use anything fluffy, like cotton balls or fabric scraps or bits of tissue. Then you'll need ears for your mouse. These can be made from any kind of fabric. We recommend using felt or interfacing fabric because these don't fray. The shape of the ears is about the size of a nickel or a dime, and kind of teardrop shaped or circular. And then, once you've finished cutting it out, fold the tip of the ear up like this so that you can have a spot to put the glue. We're going to use a hot glue gun to attach our ears because it's the quickest method, but only adults should use hot glue guns. Two other ways to attach the ears are a dab of white glue on each ear, or you can use a needle and thread and sew each ear onto the sides of the head. The next step is adding arms, legs, and a tail. You'll need four pipe cleaners for this. Two for the arms, one for the legs, and one for the tail. First we'll do the arms. Take two pipe cleaners and twist them together and make one long one like this. Then circle it around the mouse to give it little arms. Then come the legs and the tail. Fold the third pipe cleaner in half and stick it up into the sock to make two legs. Then add the fourth pipe cleaner as the tail. Curl it up just like a real mouse's tail. Next, give your mouse a face. We'll start with the eyes. We use straight pins and stuck them into the face like this to make little eyes. The simplest way to make the other facial features is to use fabric marker on the nose and mouth, like on this mouse. A more elaborate approach involves sewing. We'll show you how to do that now. First, you can sew a nose using embroidery thread. You stick the needle in at the back of the head and pull it out the nose. Then go around and around, creating loops of thread at the tip of the nose until you have the size and shape of nose you want. Then, exit at the back of the head and make a knot. Whiskers on this mouse, we used clear fishing filament, but any type of thread will do. Thread a needle with whatever you're using to make whiskers, then stick the needle in one side of the nose, then back out the other side. Go back and forth two or three times without pulling the thread tight and leaving loops on both sides of the nose. Then, when you have enough whiskers, you can snip all the loops. And voila! Whiskers! The next part is really fun. Now we can give our mouse an outfit. Any fabric scraps will do for this. I picked this piece of blue fabric from our quilting scraps. First, cut little armholes. I suggest doing them one at a time so that you get the placement right. Fold the fabric over and cut a small semicircle. Then put the garment on the mouse. Then you can see where the second armhole should go. Cut the second armhole, and then you'll wrap the garment around the mouse and pin it in the back. You can create more elaborate outfits and costumes with capes and pants and coats and hats and anything else that you can dream up. That's it! Now you know how to make your own mouse hero like Benjamin Middle Mouse. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. And we hope when you finish with your mouse, you'll take a photo of it and send it over to us at Brave Mouse Books so we can feature it on our website. Thanks! Bye! Bye.